Hey guys, Scott here. And just like the title says, Finbucker from Humidor Guitars. You seen this uh, Finbucker used by uh, Justin Johnson a lot. And uh, let me tell you what, it sounds amazing. I've been fooling around uh, with my microcube on uh, different settings, effects, and whatnot. And it sounds great. It sounds really good. Uh, that was a JC clean setting with some reverb, uh, gain halfway, uh, volume about halfway, and uh, master about roughly halfway. Just for the video here. Gain, volume, and master halfway. Just the reverb, all, pretty much all the way up, tone is right clear. It sounds really, really nice. Um, thanks a lot, uh, Dan at Numero Guitars. This one here is the brass uh, casing thin bucker. You can also get it in uh, the silver. And I believe there's one that's called, uh, I seen it on the website yesterday. I believe it's called the uh, vented, vented top or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Dan. Um, it looks like uh, there's a nice sort of a weave kind of design on it. I've seen on one of Justin Johnson's guitars that he has. Um, just check out humidorguitars.com. www.humidorguitars.com. <laughs> Check it out on Facebook as well under the same name, Yomer Do Guitars. And just for video for video sake here, I want to show you guys a little something. I'm gonna go on my favorite setting on this microcube amp, and that's the extreme setting. And first of all, let me do this. You hear that? Just hear the TV, right? <laughs> Yeah, huh. Nice, really nice. Really, really, really nice. And I like the way that it actually grabs the uh, the fretless. Let me just turn the volume up here so you guys can hear it. So that's pretty much it, guys. The Humidor Guitars Thin Bucker. This was the uh, brass casing. You can also get it in the silver casing. Go up on www.humidorguitars.com. Just search in the menu there. There's contacts. There's a contact there for 
humidor Dan himself. <laughs> The mounting is simple, I don't know if I already talked about that, but drill your hole to run the wire to the jack, make sure you have enough room to play around, and uh, you mount your screws, and you're done. If you're actually building the guitar, it doesn't take that long, it's in the process of building it. Uh, this one here was already built, so I had to unstring it, and uh, you know, desolder the piezo that I had there. And just resoldered back, and I changed the. Uh, while I'm talking about this, I changed the the strings. I had the A D G from an acoustic set, but I went with the uh, D G B because it sounds. I like the sound better with that. So when I do decide to build some of my uh, fretless uh, CBGs over some fretted ones, I'm going to try to keep the action as low as like that, so like that, I, and keep the strings. I find that the, this pickup here doesn't catch as much as the as the rubbing as a piezo does. A piezo is notorious for. When you're doing stuff like that with a, 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 wounded, a wounded string, it picks up everything. That's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching uh, the Humidor uh, Thin Bucker pickup. Sounds really nice. Thanks a lot, Humidor Guitars. It sounds really good on this guitar, and it's not going anywhere but on this one. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.